So I get asked this a lot. Do you need a copyright to publish on Amazon? Because you'll notice if you've watched any of my videos, I talk about copyright quite a bit. But the short answer is no. The long answer, of course, is a little more complicated than that. In this video, we'll go over copyrights, their necessity, and how to get one if you want one. Hi, Novelteers. I'm Devlin Blake, novel writing and self-publishing expert, coach, published author, and former ghostwriter of over 200 books. If you're writing a book, be sure to check out my Novel Writers Club, featuring self-directed courses, weekly crits, Ask Me Anything group coaching, and more. You can find out more about it at the link below. But you don't need a copyright to publish on Amazon. But you should get one anyway. Here's why. I do want to preface this by saying I am not a lawyer and I'm not giving out legal advice. This is just for informational purposes only, and it's only for the USA because I don't know any other copyright laws. Now you might have heard something about poor man's copyright, but much like salvage laws, it's something that's worked in the past but doesn't work in the modern age. And by doesn't work, I mean it's not going to hold up in court. You're not going to be able to recoup damages, and you might not even be able to send a cease and desist order. So really, what's the point of it if you can't do those things? There is no point to a poor man's copyright in the modern age. Fortunately, a copyright, a legal one, is still under 100 bucks, so they're not that expensive. You can get one at copyright.gov. Simply fill out a form, upload a digital copy of your book, pay a fee, wait around nine months, and you have a copyright. And it's retroactive, so you don't have to wait for it to come through before you publish. You can publish right now. But why bother? Because after all, Amazon and many publishers don't even require a copyright. So do you need one at all? Well, like many other situations, it depends. My earlier books were published without a copyright, but today they are copyrighted, and here's why. There might come a point in your Amazon career when your book is found on a pirate site, or Amazon asks you for proof that the book is yours. In those cases, you're going to need to send a cease and desist letter to the pirate site and to prove to Amazon that the book is indeed yours and that you're not the pirate. These things can be done without a copyright, but it's a lot harder. A copyright is the only inarguable proof, while other methods of proof can be argued with for quite a while, which makes them not as effective. Ultimately, the choice is up to you. If you never plan on taking anyone to court, if you're never planning on sending a cease and desist letter, and you feel like you have other undeniable proof that Amazon will accept, you might not need one. But as I said, I would always get one, because it's always better to be safe than sorry. I'm paranoid that way. That's just who I am. And if you'd like to know more about the ins and out of publishing your book, feel free to check out my Novel Writers Club at the link below. It is a whole section on publishing. This is Devlin Blake saying right on.